Hey again there guys, I'm here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And in today's video, we're gonna do a follow along where you get to see how I've produced this beautiful sunset painting using a mountain detail. And I'm obviously gonna give you a few top tips as we go along. So brushes wise, you can see on the screen, we've gone with a six mil, 10 mil and 35 mil painter's brush. Basic colors are just the three primaries guys with the titanium white and the black. Now as always, my canvas has been pre-primed and I'm just gonna start straight off with the 35 mil brush. The key here, we wanna do some blending fairly early on. So the idea is you want to be using the canvas when it's already wet, so you can see it's pretty shiny in the background. That's in order to help us really manipulate the pigment and to try and get those colors blended together. If you, uh, if you often wonder what I use for priming the canvas, I have done a video in terms of how to make your own gesso. I actually just like to use cheap primer paint and the advantage to having that white in the background, if you've seen my videos before, you'll already know this, it actually gives a lovely, almost diluted color to some of these primary colors that we're using today. I always find it's better to mix your uh, colors on the canvas. It just gives you a little bit more control. So you can see here when I'm mixing some of this red into the yellow, you're gonna get some nice subtle oranges just so that it tones down that vivid bright sky. Obviously we want to have some brighter colors as well, but I just want to try and make sure that we've got complete control at all times. Now the key to this painting, we're gonna do the main base of this entire painting using this large 35 mil painter's brush. If you've ever done paintings like this guys, it's really handy to use a larger brush, just especially when you come to things like blending, because it really does help you to manipulate that paint a little bit easier. Now just to try and really spice up the sky, I'm just gonna add a little bit more depth to some of those colors, just where you get that gorgeous streaky cloud going across the sky. So you can see here, I'm just using the side of the brush just to give myself a little bit more control. Straight onto the ocean, guys. This is gonna be a little bit deeper in terms of the color with red. And then you'll see how you can do most of the painting with this large painter's brush. And then obviously we have got the fine detail brush later on, just to add a little bit more detail and contrast to the painting. So with this painting here guys, the trick is it's all about layers. We're gonna work the background layer first. Uh, you, you, know, you want to really sort of think of it in terms of background to foreground, so that we really do help ourselves enabling to sort of get the composition right. You can see I've left a little gap in the middle where the mountain line will go. That's because I still wanna work on some of the detail with the ocean. So now I'm just gonna put some of those highlights and lowlights. For the ocean, it's fairly simple, guys, because obviously that's an unrealistic color at the moment, but we're gonna put some of those gorgeous hints of blues, whites, and even some of the yellow sunset towards the end. So I'm just using the same larger brush to put some of those wave streaks through. And then of course, we can always go over this later with the fine detail brush, just to have a little bit more accuracy in terms of the lines we want to make. So I'm gonna turn the music up here, guys, because the rest of this painting is fairly self-explanatory so that you can enjoy and hopefully follow along.
So I hope you've enjoyed today's video guys. We do upload weekly videos so if you haven't subscribed yet please do hit that subscription button just below and of course the like button always helps. If you are a new uh, artist and you want to get into paintings then you're really going to get lots of top tips through this channel. Alrighty guys we'll see you next time.